Am I the asshole? For giving my daughter a name my grandma hates. I gave birth to me and my husband's first child almost two months ago. She's a perfect little girl and I was so excited to have my family meet her. I have three older sisters who all have kids as well. A fun tradition that my family does is to have a small get-together once the baby is about two-three months old. We don't announce the baby's name until after the birth to make it a surprise. At the little party we give the parents a bunch of little gifts that have the new baby's name on them. My grandmother always quilts a beautiful baby blanket and embroiders the baby's name. She's done this for all my sisters and cousins. The issue is the name my husband and I chose for our daughter. For context, my grandma has a unique history with her own name. She was born as Lucille but from the time she was eight she told every single person she met that her name was Barbara. She did this for years until even her family called her Barbara. She even got her name legally changed. When I was a child I always asked her why she changed it. She simply said she liked Barbara better. It became a family joke, but she never seemed upset about it and always laughed with us. My husband's grandmother raised him from when he was a baby to when she passed away when he was 19. Her favorite celebrity was Lucille Ball. She and my husband used to watch I Love Lucy all the time together. He misses her very much and said that he would love to honor her in some way. Her name was Mary but we chose to have that as our daughter's middle name. We decided that Lucy is a name we both loved and would honor his grandmother and maybe make mine chuckle a bit. There's trauma there that grandma isn't sharing. But that's her issue, not yours. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, my own grandmother did not speak to my mother for six months over my name. Sorry to hear of this situation for you. I can only say time will heal it in the long run. You asked her why she didn't like her original name, all she said was she liked Barbara better. She never gave you any indication there was a major reason she disliked it. I think Lucy is a cute variation of Lucille. I also think your grandmother is being ridiculous. If this is the hill she wants to die on, that's her choice. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your grandmother may not like the name, but that doesn't mean you can't give it to your daughter. It's also 100 out of line for her to demand you change your daughter's name. Not the asshole. There has to be something painful traumatizing in your grandmother's past linked to the name that she's not telling you about, because her reaction is not normal. I'm apt to say nah. I think grandma is hiding trauma so while her behavior isn't okay, I'm reluctant to label her an A. You're definitely not in the wrong. Not the asshole. What you your husband choose to call the Wayne is up to you, if your grandma has an issue that's on her. Her actions I'm guessing come face some sort of trauma associated with her real name but if she won't explain what the trauma is then she can't expect you to change the Wayne's name, keep the name you chose and leave it up to her to change her mind and see her great grandchild or continue to be stubborn and never meet her. Not the asshole. This unreasonable and over-the-top reaction from your grandmother doesn't make sense. She will need to either get over it or at least come up with an explanation for it. Or I guess she will be missing out. Hilarious that Reddit sleuths are speculating that the grandmother was raped as a child and then, in the same breath, criticize her for not communicating her trauma as if everyone around her is entitled to the information. There is more to the grandma's POV. We do not know info to judge grandma's decision and as to why she thinks you are mocking her. So going with na for now. There is something going on with your grandma and the name Lucille. I'd go have a frank talk with her. Nah. However, I cannot imagine giving my child a name that I knew my grandmother had a very specific issue with, without discussing it with her at least once. Not the asshole. You had no idea your grandmother hated her name. Lucy is very common. Not the asshole, but there's something bothering grandma. There's obviously more to the story that she hasn't told any of you. Nah. I don't think you're wrong to keep the name, 
but I think there is obviously deep trauma here that I'm not going to criticize your grandma for being unable to immediately process. I'm not putting in a judgment but, have you met many 8 year olds? For an 8 year old to suddenly decide she hates her name and make everyone in her life call her by a new one, something awful must have happened. I can't imagine anyone would go through the lengths to legally change their name unless they had a reason to really hate their birth name. Kind of harsh that everyone's being so mean about grandma. Nah, but it is a little weird. Like you're allowed to name your child whatever you want, but she clearly despised that name. My grandmother did something similar and probably would have been super weirded out if I named my child her original name. I would have been weirded out giving her that name. You're the asshole. You knew your grandma hated her birth name and had the audacity to tell her that you named your child that name to honor her. It became a family joke, but she never seemed upset about it and always laughed with us. You need to think very hard about how she was acting. What you might have thought was a humorous laugh might very well have been the type of laugh people do when they're uncomfortable with the situation and hoping to get out of it quickly. Now I'm surprised you felt comfortable enough to use the name without digging further into why your grandmother changed it. Seems like a sensitive topic. It's certainly tongue in cheek. Misunderstandings happen in life. There might be a big significant reason why your gram hates that name. Or it might be small and insignificant. I suggest communicating with her in her most preferred method, fully explaining why you chose it and ask that if it bothers her a bunch she needs to explain why or if she chooses not to that you hope she will still attend baby Lucy's naming. Nah. You know your grandmother hated the name but named your baby that anyway, as is your right. But I think something traumatic happened to Lucille, and she decided to compartmentalize that and become Barbara instead. You could not have known. But I can't call Grandma the R for being upset. You knew that was her given name and she changed it for some reason. Although you are not an asshole, you act clueless like you just named her after Lucille Ball. I would think you would know your grandmother hated that name so much she changed it. That's pretty real. You can choose whatever name you want. That's your right. But acting clueless like I have no idea why she's upset. Well she hated the name so much she changed it. You don't seem to be grasping that there's a hidden backstory to the whole Lucille name that neither your mom or grandma are willing to discuss and it's obviously a sore subject for the two of them. While you're not the asshole for naming your kid whatever you mom legally changed her name, you should have explained to her what you were considering and or if this would cause consternation. It's obviously caused a luck navigating things from here. My view is that if there is an aim that has less than favorable family history, then it shouldn't be a shock when a newborn with that same name isn't welcomed with open arms. ESH Just like the first comment says, there's something about that name that bothers her that she isn't sharing, maybe she was assaulted or something happened and by changing her name, she feels like another person and is able to separate from her older self? I'd change it out of respect simply because there's something happening here.